Hello! Hello, Floppy! Hello, LJ! Hello, Action! Hello, John! Welcome in. Floppy says... Well, first of all, Action says hi. Hi, Action. John says, Hoo-wee! <laughs> Hoo-wee! Princess, you're looking real puppy today! And you guys in the puppy kingdom are looking real puppy today. Um, Floppy says, My bread looks like it's turning out well. I fear I may be a genius. Well, I'm glad that your bread is turning out. Uh, don't let hubris get to you, though. That's how most heroes um, have their fall from glory. Um, <laughs> LJ says stamps. Hi, LJ. Welcome in. Uh, and then Floppy says, I wish Stamp Goblin was here. Yes, I'm sorry. My best friend, not ever, my other best friend, called me and she was stuck in traffic, but she's having some problems with you know her relationships and um we had a quick venting session but she quickly shooed me off because she was like oh you're starting stream soon and i was like it's okay i can tell everyone that they can wait um but she shooed me off so i might end stream a little earlier just so i can give her a call because um she's gonna be meeting with the person that she was venting about so i just wanted to check up on her we're all looking puppy today. <laughs> it's true. How's everyone doing? Hold on, let me get Jump King up. We don't have to stay long on this just chatting screen. Um, although it is quite nice and Christmassy. Um, should we do like a quick Twitch recap? I feel like everyone's been doing like Twitch recaps and I didn't get a chance to yet because, you know, I didn't stream on Monday. Tuesday had my collab. Um, and... <laughs> Inside out! Thank you so much for the resubscribe! 14 months, thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, friends are more important than stream. Yeah, I and I told her, I was like, hey, look, you're more important. And she shooed me off and I was like, okay, well, I'll end early so I can call you. Um, but I feel like everyone's been doing like their Twitch recap. Um, should I do like a Twitch recap? <laughs> There's been, so sorry, my, my uh, voice caught in my throat for a second. Um, Jesus, there's been so many things going on because of the new Twitch rules. I have never seen so many boobs, so many nipples, um, <laughs> so many penises in my, like, preview screen when I go through art. Like, it is incredible how... It is incredible how much people are spitting in the face of these new TOS changes. Like, guys, I get it. Like, I get that you feel like, you know, you were oppressed before um, and that you want to, like, do all this wacky wild shit. But, like, the only... And I'm gonna be honest, I think the only thing they changed was the fact that uh, now streaming art, you can show more nudity but it doesn't mean that nudity can be the focus of the art piece you know like you can't draw full-on porn on twitch um and it some people have taken it to saying well my vtuber is art so i can stream naked and i'm like mm, no if you read the rules anyone who uses some kind of like you know um model tracking software the model is supposed to be closed according to twitch's attire terms of service you know like it's not it feels like it's the wild wild west because no one knows how to read there's no reading comprehension and i'm i'm literally just here like i this is an embarrassment but you know whatever um <sighs> I like how the Dangan 2 gang strings are still here. It's like I can still hear them in my mind. <laughs> I'll leave them there for the next time they're here to enjoy their drinks. They might not actually, because they're not coming back until January. Oh, that's true. Okay, well, let's remove, let's remove it, because I don't think they'll need their drinks. Um, so we're just gonna take their drinks away. Sorry, guests. Um. I'm glad you're enjoying the new rules. I mean, I'm I feel like I feel like a prude 
when I say like, can, can we not do this? But at the same time, it's like, I don't think it's appropriate. Um, like I get that there's new rules, but I feel like people are taking it to the extreme with these and it's going, you're, you're kind of spitting in the face of the goodwill that Twitch as a company is extending to artists, you know, like if you are doing it in a way that's valid and not to like, you know, push the envelope, like, cause before artists were so unfairly, you know, hit with bans and stuff because of doing art that was like slightly suggestive. Um, but now they're able to draw that art on tree and people have just taken it and like run with it. And I'm like, that's, that's not cool for the artist, you know, like you're ruining it for everyone. But, um, that's how I feel. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter because for me, um, I don't stream that stuff. So it doesn't affect me, but you know, <laughs> But you know. Um, so, oh, Cupid, hello. Can we get a shout out for Cupid, please? Agree with your thoughts on the new rules. Yeah, like, I think it's great that artists can do, you know, have more freedom to draw what they want um, on stream. But I think people are <laughs> taking it way too far. Um, and, like, they're doing it in a malicious way, you know, like not in a, oh, you know, this is the kind of art that I usually do. They're really, really doing it because they want to see how far they can take it. Um, don't like how people will try and push the rule boundaries as much as they do try. Yeah. Cupid will finally be able to draw what she truly wants on stream. <laughs> Should let it be how it is and not ruin it for others. Yeah. They are 100% stress testing the system. Yeah. <laughs> Also today, I was hanging out with like a whole bunch of the uh, VTuber Symphony Orchestra people. I say a whole bunch and really it's just two people. Um, by the way, you should check them out. Um, Azure. Does Azure Sniper have... I, I never I never remember Azure's name. Um, let me... Sorry, Azure. I'm a terrible friend. Okay, there it is. Azure Sniper. So I was hanging out with Azure. That's his link. Go ahead and follow him. He's awesome. Um, in chat was also, I don't know if you guys know, but Evil Light is another um, member who's a part of the Symphony Orchestra. He is an amazing vocalist and he is so, so inspiring to me. Um, I really, really want to learn how to sing. <laughs> I don't know how to sing, but I really would like to learn how to sing. Um, I also fixed his model for him because he also uses a Vroid model. Um, and he was like, yeah, my mouth's fucked up. And I was like, what do you mean it's fucked up? And he was like, well, my neutral expression is more angry than my angry expression. And I used two softwares to track my movement. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? And so, <laughs> so he sent me his file for a reroid and um, I, I fixed his face. Um, that does sound complicated. It was okay. It wasn't too bad. I fixed his face for him. Um, I saw his duet for Million Dreams. He is so, he's such a good drink, uh, singer. Um, evil light here. Do I have, I still have to wait 39 seconds. So let me wait the 39 seconds and we'll give Evo a shout out. If you want to check out his link before, this is the link here. Um, check him out. He does a lot of music streams, a lot of karaoke streams. Um, I don't, he's just getting back from a long, long trip um, to Japan. So I don't know how often he will be streaming, but I do think he is an amazing singer. He does a lot of his mixing on stream as well. It's very, it's all very interesting to me. His, I'm rusty. Your face, it's bad. Let me fix it for you. <laughs> 
I can fix him. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's it's been a lot of that um, today. It's really funny. Um, evil light. There we go. And then there was one more person that came into chat to hang out. Um, and it's civil civil fortissimo. Let me give let me give uh, civil a shout out. And then um, Chrono, when you can, can you give civil one of the big shout outs when the other one times out? Um, Civil's actually live right now. If you want to check her out, she's playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Um, she's playing Pokemon Violet, but she's really adorable and, um, I think you guys would love her. She's really energetic, um, but she was hanging out in voice chat as well. But there's so, there's so, wait, Cupid, do you want me to sing a song for you? Princess, the plastic surgeon for VTubers. Dory, hello, welcome in. Yes, let me just, let me just get a little knife and fix your face for you. What do you, what do you want me to sing for you? I said I would sing for you the next time you came onto my stream, right? Um... What do you feel comfortable singing? I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Definitely last cup of coffee has been on my mind. <laughs> Peaches versus favorite song is Hellfire. <laughs> Do the dreamy night. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's do both. This is, y'all are so lucky that Cupid is here, okay? If it wasn't for Cupid, you wouldn't be hearing me singing, but let's, let's, um, okay. There might be a delay, please. Okay, thank you for the self-care. Let me stretch. Not letting Hermes eating you? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, if there was a zombie apocalypse, I let my dog eat me. Um, okay. Guys, make sure you're stretching, getting, warming up. I'm going to drink some water. Thank you, Chrono. Okay, so this, guys, tell me if there's a delay, okay, please? <laughs> I hope there's not a delay. Hold on. How, where does the lyrics go? Hold on. Pause. I need the lyrics. Okay lyrics here we go let you know if there's a delay thank you cupid can you hear it someday we'll have our last conversation and drink our last cup of coffee someday we might be haiti and think about the different things we used to say all the memories of you will just become a ghost of a smile caught in the wind someday it'll be the last day With a 
drink the last cup of coffee with a smile. All right, dreamy night. Let's see. Can I sing this song? I don't even know if I can sing this song. I don't think I know the song that out that well. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Y'all better thank Cupid. <laughs> 1 a.m. Eyes closed. I'm slowly falling. To the music and the atmosphere Now and then I feel lights fading softly All over me And I remember last year When I was alone in my bed With all these thoughts in my head And living silently inside playing Ghostwire on stream two months ago. <laughs> Welcome and congrats on getting that achievement in Jump King Big Spender. Saw you got it yesterday. Congratulations, by the way. Hello! Welcome in, Sampo! How are you? It's been a really long time! <laughs> this song just keeps going. Oh, you're spying? I mean, I have my Steam open. Um, Alright. I think I did that snake ring one first. I'm too scared to try snake ring. I think I did the no fall achievements before I tried snake ring. Um, or I don't even think I've tried snake ring yet. But yeah, uh, so courtesy of Cupid, uh, you're welcome for the singing. Uh, <laughs> it was my old Twitch username. We don't talk about it anymore. <laughs> But, you know, it's fine. I, eventually, I'll get it changed, but not right now. But I don't talk about it on stream. <laughs> totally okay, though, because I know it's on the emote, but I just, you know. <laughs> All right. Um, should I sing the dog one or should we go to Jump King? I'm having a lot of fun singing. I realize there's snake ring for the other maps. There's snake ring for all three maps, I think, on the um, original base game. Um, we'll just do... Uh, 
Deja vu? I don't know if I can. Hold on. Deja vu. I uh, don't think I know this song. I'm not an anime guy, but I know that one. Um, is it the one by what's his face? Um, I don't think I know this song. Yeah. What was, what song was I thinking of? The one that um that guy from Niji Sanji sings. Um is it also Deja Vu? So many names how so many songs have like the same names. Um Oh yeah, um, the Halloween emotes were from the Ray Train. <laughs> I really hope I don't get DMCA'd for this portion of the <laughs> for this portion of the stream. <laughs> this might not be the song that you're thinking of, uh, Sampo. Uh, but I do know this one. I don't know if you guys know this one. Maybe a little too loud. There we go. There's a tale, a legend told when the night was full of light. Every thousand years, the skies would shake, every glow would fall from sight. So I do know that song, Deja Vu. <laughs> okay, sorry. Let's go. Let's play the game. Um, Sampo, the next uh, map that I'm going to play for Jump King, um, I'm still, I've been stuck on Initial D Deja Vu. I'm sorry. It's the only, that's the only Deja Vu song I know. <laughs> but um, I've been stuck on Immortal Babe Plus. We've been playing this for, I think someone confirmed it was something like six months and I still haven't beat this map. Um, I'm sure eventually, 
playing please sing this for me i don't think i know the song so i wouldn't be able to sing it i'm sorry <laughs> um oh why is it all weird why is there like a bar what happened let me see here Let me just get rid of this bar. There we go. Have you beat this map? You've gone through IB plus already? I have the hardest time uh, because the map in the tower has sand and I, I think sand is my weakest mechanic. I can't play sand. <laughs> you don't know if you've done plus. Plus is um Abaddon released this I think last year in last year in like August or something. Something like that. Um I was confused too. I thought it was going to be an ad or something. Oh what? Initial D? Deja vu? <laughs> the game is so soft. What happened? Hold on. All of a sudden, the game audio is so quiet. Okay, maybe that's better. The bar that randomly showed up. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, that was weird. Usually, I... I mean, I've streamed Jump King many times. I wonder why all of a sudden it decided to freak out. Weird. Anyways. Um, you guys should definitely check out, um, Azure, Evo, and Civil. They are so cool. We hung out today and we had a whole bunch of fun. Um, they are all part of the VTuber Symphony Orchestra and they are so inspiring and, like, they motivate me to do better and be better, you know? Um, I kind of want to do, like, a jokey, like, uh, Hashire sori ni yo, or something. I forgot how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> VTubers IRL me? No, we were hanging out in VC. Hi, Duo! Welcome in! Hi, Card Captor Princess and Tomoe Chat. Saying hi and lurking. Work Christmas party today! Have fun at your work Christmas party! Bye, Duo! Nice to see you're still loving this game. Oh my god. Can you- do you see the model? It is- this is my absolute favorite game. My friend commissioned this for my birthday. Uh, this is a special princess only you know, special, uh, skin for Jump King. <laughs> Could it do be something to do with the custom skin? I don't think so. I don't think so. I started crashing before the custom skin, I think. I saw it a while ago. It's not on JK Plus website. No, it because it is a special commission that my friend purchased and it's not for, for use. Um, Maybe in the future when I have another skin, I can finally release the skin out and people can play as me. But um, I wanted this to be special just for me, at least until next year, you know? <laughs> this is princess only special. That would be incredible. Yeah, maybe next year. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I don't know. I kind of really enjoy that I'm the only person who has this, you know? I, it's mine. It's it's something just for me. Okay. <laughs> just a fallen jump king the entire time. Okay. My goal is, and I don't want to like say this out loud because maybe I'll jinx myself, but I'm going to say it anyways. I think my goal for this year is by the end of the year, I want to at least see the babe, you know, like I think that's a good enough goal for me. By the end of this year, I want to see the babe of this map. I think that's that's enough, you know, I'm not aiming very high here. I'm not saying I want to beat the map. I just want to see the babe. Is that is that too much to ask? Maybe it might be. I'm 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 thinking perhaps it may be too much of an ask. 
Are you trying to do all the maps? I think so eventually, not the challenge maps because I know the challenge maps are like incredibly hard. Um, but at least the, um, what is it called? The full, full custom maps. I do want to, I do want to complete those. Um, I'm doing it in release order, which I feel like I've really, uh, handicapped myself because release order means I'm going to be playing some very difficult maps before some very simple ones. I mean, case in point, IB plus has taken me. Oh, this is not the correct time. Hold on. There's the correct time. Um, I've had to reset this map multiple times because it's, um, it crashed on me. That's fine. That's, that's fine. It's fine. Um, at least you're actively working towards your goal. I told myself I should at least beat main babe before the end of the year and then pr proceeded to never open the game since. No, show you got this. You totally got this. Don't worry. It's okay. I, you, if you open it again and just play it again, it's like riding a bicycle. You have the patience. I do. I am trying to be so patient and so careful, you know? Um, it's not, it's not easy. <laughs> no one get the fan maps. Um... You can do it, show. See, John finished Ghost of the Babe. Which um, which maps have you been doing, uh, Sampo? I know did, you did a uh, you did Ascension, right? And I, because I think you were speed running Ghost of the Babe last time we had talked, like almost like a year ago, maybe. It's been a while. <laughs> Waiting for the three new ones. What are the three new ones? Uh, and who's making them? I know um, one of the maps that I really, really disliked, uh, made by Camp Zoo, Babe of the Realms. I know he's making a new one, Babe of Redemption, maybe. And I heard perhaps he's getting someone to play test that, or he has had people play test it, so it's much better. Except I heard the first and second area are still um, unnecessarily difficult to get through. Um, yes, I've avoided Twitch for a while. You know, that makes sense. Um, I've just been chronically online. <laughs> Not sure who's making. I'm apparently playing New Babe Plus before Main Babe. Did, um, did someone tell you or did you find out on your own that you finished New Babe Plus? You prob know more than me. I I know a little bit. I don't keep super track. Oh fuck. Uh, I don't keep super track of everything going on in the Jump King community because, like you, I also want to be you know surprised by things. Um. So hello, is my internet okay? I think it's okay. Are we are we back to like really bad connection? Because it did this on Tuesday too. Um. You know, and I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of my internet just cutting out on me. <laughs> it's just sometimes and I'm just like, literally, I pay, I pay you guys to give me one thing. Internet. Why can't you do that? Just one crash. Yeah, but still one crash is still like more than there should be. You know what I mean? Oh, no, please. Oh, fuck. It's just really annoying. Pressed too hard on the stupid thing and I got really far. Shit, it's fine. We'll get back. Everyone's gonna be like, wow, Princess fell so far after she crashed. <laughs> and I did, because Cox internet makes me tilted. But you guys, I'm so excited for the release. It's coming in two weeks. Well, technically one week in a couple of days. Um, we're gonna hear the cover and I'm so excited for you guys to hear all of the hard work. I mean, I only recorded one part, right? But there were people who were mixing the audios and doing like the music video for it. And they worked so hard on it, you guys. Um, 
they definitely deserve uh, all of the love and attention that this is gonna like generate for for the group um i'm so so excited about this no just lie and say new section <laughs> okay sorry we just we just got here you guys this is we just started stream and I I didn't I didn't I didn't fall. I don't know what you're talking about. Also, when I was playing the other day like off stream, I found out you I can just walk off the ledge and make this other jump like so much easier for myself and I didn't realize that I could do that until literally I think like maybe it was Monday that I was playing during my lunchtime. But let me show you if I can get there again. Have you been Mario Karting with Mr. Y? I have not. I haven't seen Mr. Y in a while. Um, I don't... Oh, I can walk off right here. I'm so dumb. I should have realized that. Um, I haven't been around on his Discord. Um, truth be told, my November has been like super busy because I was doing stamp card for postcard stuff. So my december is just starting to slow down uh and i mean even then i'm still busy promoting the vtuber symphony stuff that's going to be releasing so i don't know how like restful even though i said oh we're gonna take it easy december i i don't know how restful december is gonna be <laughs> but uh have you been hanging out with mr y sampo also another great streamer you guys should watch you guys mr y is um he streams because he's in Germany, I think. So he streams during like my work hours, but um, he's a really entertaining streamer. And I love just chilling in his chat and talking to him. He's really uh, easygoing and chill. Shit, it's fine. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, we're back, we're back. I've been quiet on his DC for a while. Yeah, I usually don't respond in people's DC because I don't have, like, notifications on unless people ping me personally. Um, I think he has to. My wife said he's been working. Oh, really? Okay. It might be, it might be busy season until, um, end of year for everyone. For me, my work slows down in December, uh, because there's not so much going on. Um... That we can do but it'll pick back up like in february i'm sure and i also have to help with like inventory and stuff so i'm not looking forward to that but yeah it'll be it'll be fun and exciting and new and i've never helped with inventory before you know so we'll see mt hello welcome in how are you hello hello also wife congrats if this is a new uh if this is a new uh what is it called um life change <laughs> if it's not then congrats anyways <laughs> will you post the music on mr y's discord i don't know i feel bad about self-promoting on other people's discord i never do um just because i feel like i don't hang out in the discord so i don't have a right to self-promote you know like if i was a bigger part of mr y's community and everyone knew me um then i'd be like hey mr y and everyone who i know in in your chat you know like check out this cool thing but since i don't do that um for me it would feel very uncomfortable to go in and tell everyone like to go look at this video you know what i mean <laughs> i don't think he would mind but i also just it's like an icky feeling for me um oh yeah it's new i'm not a guy who likes the attention but i can't say girlfriend sound bad i'm sure he'll love it he's a music guy i might um just dm him and send it to him and be like hey sample said you might like this but um i don't think i would put it in the discord um I don't know. And I think that's the main reason. And if anyone is wondering why I don't have a self promo channel, like, I think it's more so that random people don't join our Discord and just only post self promo and never participate in the community. Because I feel like if you're a part of my community and you come in a chat and I know that you stream, I always shout you out, you know? Like, I'm not, 
I'm not going to forget about you streaming, but I don't know. When it when it when I go into other people's discords and I see the self promo channel, especially for my friends, I'm like who are you? Like, you never come hang out in chat. Like, why are you just self-promoing in, like, random people's channels? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, I respect that I'm the same. Yeah, so, I don't know. Like, if you like my stuff, you probably follow me on Twitter and stuff. Like, I think that's enough. Um, and, like, I'll share it with friends, but whether my friends decide to share it with their community or not, like, that's up to them. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to just bust my way in and be like, oh, everyone needs to watch this. <laughs> I'm so excited, by the way, you guys. I finished editing. Um, I was like in call and like just co-working with Azure and I finished editing my old uh, video for the uh, ASMR upload tomorrow. So I got that done before... I usually do because usually I procrastinate to like literally midnight before I have to release it. So um, I'm happy that that it didn't result in that. Uh, I have no socials except Discord. Oh, I I think like for me it's necessary to have like a Twitter and a YouTube, but that's because you know like branding as a VTuber and such. But um, I do try my best to like keep current. <laughs> Twitter is a cesspool, but <laughs> I try to keep current. <laughs> Bishop, how are you? Welcome in. Hello, hello. How, oh, uh, how is December for you? You're popular. You need it. I'm not that popular. I think I have like 300 followers on Twitter. <laughs> I think most people find me through Twitch and then they just only watch me on Twitch and they don't care about Twitter, which, you know, to be fair, like, that's totally fine. Um, not everyone wants to be on Twitter, which, you know, mad respect to you. Because Twitter is insane. Um, yeah! Do you have any cool plans? Are you busy? I feel like I haven't seen you in a while, so I want to catch up. How has um, your tabletop RPGs been? I don't know when the last time you streamed that was. Was it recent? Just because Stream Elements doesn't tell me um, if it was like, you know, yesterday or if it was like two weeks ago. Because Sampo got shouted out and he was like, I haven't played that game for like two months. <laughs> was it Ghostwire? <laughs> Your Twitch works great. Yeah, Twitch is, you know, the way everyone finds me. So I'm perfectly happy with that. Oh shit. Okay, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. Oh fuck. I swear to god, it's so hard. Such a hard jump. I hate that one. That one is like the one I hate the most and it prevents me from progressing through the tower. I found you through word of mouth. Yes. Through Ever who started playing Dangan and people were like, "Hmm, Maybe I should check this out because Ever, my favorite artist, is going to be on stream. A and it's so funny because, like, I think to a lot of her followers, she's, like, this mysterious person because, I mean, she never posts about herself, right? She always posts her art and her fandom stuff. Um, but all, all people know about her is, like, she's a mysterious bird. <laughs> <laughs> a mysterious magic bird but then you come here and you can actually hear her talking um and hear a little bit more about um you know her as a person um and sometimes i share stories even if you follow me on twitter sometimes i'll tweet out like what we're eating from her place you know um so i feel like if you know me then you'll by extension, no ever, because I hang out with her so often. <laughs> I'm working on the game so far. It's going great. Still a lot of work to go, though. Oh, you're streaming your development on the game, right? I know sometimes I'll see you kind of like opening up like Google Docs or something and you're like working on lore or like world building. So pretty cool. You and Mr. Smash, that Twitch personality. <laughs> oh, thank you. I I think it's a 
a muscle that you need to exercise because um, I think someone came by... Was it like a week or two ago? I think it was Sleepy Turtle because Sleepy Turtle comes in sometimes when I play Jump King. And he was asking me, he was like, hey, princess, um, do you have your old VODs of Jump King anywhere? And I was like, um, actually, yeah, if you check my YouTube, right? Uh, and because he wanted to watch me play um, either Babe of the Realms or Babe of, Babe of Dimensions, maybe. He wanted to see me play it. And I was like, yeah, you can probably check it on YouTube because I have like a Jump King playlist there. And... Um, I went to go watch it like after that stream and I was like, man, some of my very first Jump King streams, I fuck, I barely talk. Um I was re-watching it and I was like, man, I I I just sat there very silently, you know, jumping and sometimes I would laugh, but um I didn't think it was that entertaining. And so I'm glad to see how far I've come as a streamer, like exercising my just, I would call it my blabber mouth, I guess. Um, fuck. Um, but it really is a skill that you need to practice because it, it doesn't come naturally. It's something that you really have to work towards. Um, I'm fucking boring. No, I'm sure that's not the case. I think it's just you need to practice, uh, being able to talk like very very like stream of consciousness you know um it's not lore i'm literally making a new tabletop rpg system from scratch oh really i think maybe i saw like a different stream then when i first clicked in i was like oh i don't really use twitch or watch vtubers i don't know if i'll stay for long but then everyone came in laughing because princess forgot to sound check or something and then i decided to stay you know i'm glad that my um scuff and our personality uh kept you here floppy because i'm gonna be honest i love hearing about your bread um and i love seeing your posts about your tea advent calendar and you've just become you know like a very loved member of the community um so i appreciate that you stuck around <laughs> Hi, Azur. Welcome in. How are you? Good evening. <laughs> you missed me singing. I was singing for a bit. You'll never hear it again. Um, no, but for me, it feels fake. I can't do that. I like playing guitar on my own, not talking to people, just except people are different. I feel like that definitely makes sense, right? Um, but if you want to be a streamer and if that's something you want to pursue um you just need to kind of not be so self-conscious and like be able to <laughs> make fun of yourself <laughs> people make fun of me all the time princess talking like vods don't exist i don't know what you're talking about vods don't exist don't look at my vods <laughs> don't look at it it doesn't exist it's not there we're gonna remove it it might be muted because i sang songs you know so why even bother checking if it's gonna be muted already that jump is so much more secure when i kind of like step down i never realized that that was a platform jesus i should have should have been looking closer <laughs> that makes this section so much easier now that i like know i can safely make that jump every time Vods don't exist! Don't look at my Vods! Girl, if you're gonna lie, at least be consistent. <laughs> you know, Floppy Show is another person that I've tricked into coming to hang out. Because um, I'm pretty sure Show came whenever tweeted out that she was playing... Was it It Takes Two Show? When did you come in? I'm pretty sure it was It Takes Two um, that ever tweeted out that she was gonna play with me. Or maybe Final Fantasy IX. You were definitely here by Final Fantasy IX. Um, but it was so funny because uh, I feel like there have been a couple people and I feel like quality people follow ever people with good taste um, because the people that have stuck around are like so funny <laughs> and like just good people overall. 
I missed the It Takes Two era. Ah, oh, I see, I see. But you were here for FF9, you were here for Fogs, so, you know, it's okay. It's okay, show. <laughs> it Takes Two was kind of chaotic. <laughs> I'm funny and have good taste. Hey, yeah, you do. You have amazing taste. I mean, look at that rug that you made. It was so cute. Have you ever raced multiplayer JK? I have not. Um, I think it would make me too stressed out and I would start messing up a lot um, because when I can see the other person, I think it gives me undue stress and then I start freaking out and it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't mean good for my performance. <laughs> Hello, Egg. How are you? Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. The map? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I know there's a multiplayer mode for Jump King Plus. I just never have used it, so, um... I did, I, well, actually, I think I used it once, but I was playing with Umaibo, and Umaibo is, like, really good, so. Um, and it was main map, and I was just a baby then. I'm good! I'm good! Wait, Chrono, are you here? Can we get a shout-out for Egg, please? Um, I appreciate you. You seem a pro now? I'm not. I, I think the only reason why is... I've played this map now for almost 120 hours. Um, I think after that long, anyone would look like a pro. Um, <laughs> for me, I'm the kind of person, I'm not good at something. I just bash my head against something long enough and eventually something good will happen. That's, that's how I approach life. I just... Um, I think it was either show or floppy that said it, but my my mindset is the grind set. I just grind a lot. Um, I'm not particularly good at anything. Chrono might be napping. Gotcha. Okay. I will um, give Egg a shout out. Aber Muffin, how are you? Welcome in. It's been a while. Yes, this is a redeem. I have a maid outfit redeem that um, Azure just redeemed. So um, I'm wearing maid outfit for about five minutes, but I will be back to my regular outfit soon. Um, I don't stream. Nopers, of course you do. <laughs> I've played this map my whole life. I know it's been so long. Muffin! I was literally thinking about you the other day and I was like, I wonder how he is and I wonder how Judy is. Um, I think about Judy often. <laughs> Not gonna lie, because you said, like, Judy poops so much when you take her out. I'm just like, I wonder, I wonder how the doggo is. <laughs> I really like the pixel design on Jump King. I know, the art style for Jump- fuck. The art style for Jump King is like just so classic and so simple, you know, like it just works. Um, is it frustrating you can't switch? Uh, for me, I don't mind so much. I like being focused um, because if I were able to switch, I don't think I would be able to focus on one map and I would switch maps too often. And then I would forget how to play, you know, the current map that I'm on. Um, so I think it's a good thing for me. I, I don't like it, but I think it's a good thing because it keeps me focused. Um, otherwise, I would just be all over the place. Um, she's good. Extra stinky. <laughs> it's funny you say that she's been pooping two times as much as normal, which is already a lot. Oh, oh poor baby. <laughs> Judy does poop a lot. I hope, um, I hope you're able to deal with all the amount of poop that's coming out of her booty. Um... Because, uh, is she okay? Is she, like, just eating more than usual or just digesting food strangely? Like, is she sick? Because that would suck. It's good to see you, and I'm honored you thought of me. Yeah! Nope, it was me. I'm sorry, Floppy. It was me. I'm back. Um, I- the, My cocked internet just really doesn't like me tonight. It's really, um messing me up. Um, I've been having internet problems literally all week. Um, it's not fun. 
Like, what if I did this for a living, you guys? Like, would Cox compensate me for the oh, fuck uh, income I've lost? No. They need to learn how to provide more stable service. Ridiculous. It's called Cox because they suck. We we don't we don't want us we don't want Asaki. Uh, I don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> we we want the opposite for them because they they're not great right like <laughs> sus so sus <laughs> just popping in thank you for the kind words and it's good to see you princess thank you so much muffin it's so nice to see you every once in a while don't be a stranger um but I'm so glad that you're here. Um, before you go, I if I don't see you before Christmas, I hope you have a happy holidays and a happy new year. Um, I'll see you around, Muffin. <laughs> Thank you for thinking of Judy. You are very kind. Of course, of course. Um, can we play this together? You can show me each jump and I fall to my death. Uh, we could, um, but the problem is if I jump down now, I don't think I would be able to get back up. See, I'm, I have now become accustomed to the jumps in this area and I've forgotten how to do all of the previous jumps. Um, as long as I stay down up here, uh, I don't have to worry. But if I fall, um, I might be stuck down there forever. <laughs> if I try to catch up. Yeah, if you try to catch up, no problem. We can uh, start multiplayer mode. Um, I don't have a problem with that. But, um, but if, if you can't get up here, you know, um, <laughs> how far up? I am in area one, two, three, four, five, six. This is area seven. I'm in area seven. Have an excellent Christmas holiday. Bye, Muffin. Thank you so much for stopping by. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Uh, the map is Immortal Babe Plus. Immortal Babe Plus is the map. Don't think, maybe I should just do this jump normally. Oh my God, okay. Just do the jump normally. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I just walked right off. It's fine. 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 Yeah, no worries. No worries. I'm sure I'll cry. Yeah, it's a hard map. Hey, yo, what's good today? Hello, Ever. How are you? Welcome in. Hello, hello. It's the bird of the hour. I haven't told them about our stargazing trip yet. Um... Because <laughs> I've been busy talking about um, some like Twitch TOS changes and about uh, is Muffin my stopped by. And also, I still want to turn her little bird body into chicken nuggets and eat her. Thank you. And we caught up with Muffin and how Judy's doing. Apparently, Judy is pooping two times as much as she usually does. Which, if you remember, Judy is the bur is the dog that poops multiple times when Muffin takes her out. So for her for her to poop two times as much is quite a lot. Um, hi, Floppy and LJ. No hellos for Bishop for that. No Bishop. Hello to Bishop because I appreciate you shouting out my best friend. Thank you. Oh fuck. Oh, fuck. It's a lot of poop. It is a lot of poop. Um. Yeah, but Muffin came by to say hello, which was nice. <laughs> uh, I had so much fun today, you guys. Just hanging out with people in voice chat and... Co-working streams, I think, like... I know co-working co is a category on Twitch, because, um... Oh, if you guys don't know, Seiji Soldier, um... Ever, can you shout out Seiji Soldier? Do you know how to spell his username? He does a lot of co-working streams. He starts uh, Eastern time, I think at like 9 p.m. Um, and then goes to like uh, 5 p.m. Um, no worries, I'll give him a shout out here. Uh, he does a lot of co-working streams from Eastern Time, 9 to 5 p.m. And he does, I think, what's called, like, the Pomodoro Method. 
So he'll do like an hour and a half of work followed by 10 to 15 minutes of break and then another hour and a half and he splits his streams up like that. Um, and you can't see what he's working on because obviously it's I think it's like real job and stuff. But in the off times he gets to catch up with chat and everyone who tunes in is usually co-working as well. And I think it's such a fun concept to be able to like hang out with people and keep each other accountable, you know? Um, I can't do that unless I'm like physically talking to the person. So uh, his streams are just for me to like hang out and vibe because he has really good music on his streams. Um, but I'm usually just vibing. Um, I mean, it's my work hours anyway, so I am working, but I don't, I don't like participate in the breaks and stuff. I just work like normal. Um, Sagey, like justice. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, he advertises himself as uh, the the tallest streamer on Twitch and Twitch's biggest himbo. Um, it's great. He has a really funny personality. Um, and it's just a chill time. So you guys should definitely consider checking him out if you want to see uh, a co-working streamer. And if you want, you know, a community to keep you accountable for your work. The real reason you go to his streams. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He is a great streamer. Oh fuck. Okay, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. Okay, just very carefully. Carefully. Okay, good. I just want to get back to the tower and prog more jumps in the tower. <sighs> we'll get there eventually. Again, I don't think I'm asking for too much here when I say I only want to see the babe before the end of the year. I don't even want to get the babe, right? Like, I just want to see her before the year is over. Um, I don't think that's too much to ask, but it might be with all of my internet crashes and game crashes, so I guess we shall see. Welcome back! Were you able to find the map and were you able to like get it started? Take a look and see how- I am I mean, I feel like you're pretty good at jumping. I feel like you would get here in no time. I'm just really bad and I need to grind every jump and like every inch I win like little by little, you know what I mean? Like, it is a struggle here. <laughs> I will fail so bad. Nah, you got this. You got this. Oh fuck. It's fine. You totally got this. Okay. This jump is also really hard. Hate it. If I don't focus, that jump is hard. But now that we're back... Okay. Fine. Just focus on these jumps. And then we'll get back to where we were progging. I just want to see the babe. Just want to take a peek, take a glance at her. We'll get there, we'll get there. Just be patient. Each jump, need to focus on each jump. Focus. Oh, please. God damn it. I respect you because I see you smashing these maps. I do not. I feel like... Each of these custom maps takes me at least anywhere from like two to <laughs> right now six months. Um, I think it's just that I'm stubborn. <laughs> like I refuse to take my lack of skill as, you know, the end all be all. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to prove to everyone. You don't have to be good at Jump King to play Jump King. Eventually, you press the buttons enough and you're gonna win. <laughs> so... I think that's my goal, is like... You can win at Jump King if you just keep going. It's... You know... Yes, it is hard, but it is also so worth it in the end. For me anyways, I think it's super... It's super rewarding when you finally beat a map that you have never, you know, like, oh fuck, um, done before. And it's like, to know that like, yeah, this was a hard map and like, people took this long to clear it, or 
not many people, I mean, not many people go all the way to custom maps anyways. So to be one of the few that are able to clear custom maps, I think that definitely means something. <laughs> It's just street cred, right? It's my gamer cred. Um, it's just something that I can say like, Oh yeah, I play Jump King custom maps. Uh, have you even beat the game? Because <laughs> it's notoriously hard. Ooh, have you played Only Up? That was like super popular this summer, Sampo. I played it. It was really fun. I played it before the creator had to make like all those changes and stuff though. Uh, you have the determination. For me, I feel like I'm... Uh, oh shit, I wasted most of my life. I need to do something proper. I mean, you could say the same for me. Like, someone could be like, Damn, this girl has spent... A hundred and, you know... Fifteen hours playing Jump King? Like, what is she doing with her life? Like, she needs to get a another hobby or something, you know? Whereas, like, for me, I'm like... What else am I going to be doing? You know, like, watch TV? I also feel like people who think, ugh, the normal hobby of watch watching sports and TV, it's so boring. Like, why are you shaming people for liking video games, you know, or anime? You're basically doing the same thing. <laughs> I kn know I can tell you are a real-life person. I'm a bit of a waste. Did play uh, only up. Did you beat it? I think you're fine, Sampo. <laughs> Did you manage to beat Only Up? I beat it. I beat it in, I think, what was my final time? It was like four or five hours or something like that. Second go, amazing. Um, I had so much fun playing it. <laughs> and it was like a really special stream for me because it was my first like raid train stream. Um, and I got to pass it along after I beat the map and I was like, whew. What a freaking high, man, you know, like, it was incredible. <laughs> Two hours. Oh my god, that's fast. And it was your second time playing? How far did you get the first time before you had to close out of the map? Oh shit. It's fine, okay. Okay. Two, one, two, nice, okay. There we go. This is not canon. Hello, Zarnotsky. Welcome in, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Yes, this is not part of the original Jump King maps. It's not Main Babe, it's not New Babe Plus, it's not Ghost of the Babe. Right now, we are playing Immortal Babe Plus, which is um, a map created by Abaddon. Uh, who is one of the um, Jump King custom map modders. Uh, he has some really hard maps. Are you also a Jump King enjoyer? Welcome in. <laughs> Where did you find me from the Jump King category? Hi. <laughs> Next I'll sponsor me. <laughs> it's been discontinued now though, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Um, I mean, I think the game went through like a few revisions. Uh, and then eventually, because I think like the creator used a lot of like, people said it was like stolen assets or something. And so he had to like take stuff out of the game and then he kept taking stuff out of the game. And eventually I think he got sick and tired of it. He was like, you know what? I'm, I'm just taking this off the Steam um, store um, and you can't buy it anymore. I don't know what the game looks like anymore because I know they took like the lady out. That was on top of the globe. Um, I beat it before she was taken out, but I don't know what else has changed about the map. I also heard there was a lift to the end. Oh, um, oh, I think I heard like the creator added in a lift up to the chess area or something um, because people were complaining about it. Either lift up to the chest area or lift up to um, the first checkpoint where it's like, oh, you won, you know? I don't know. I'm not oh, super sure about that. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. 
Um, my wife thought I was psycho playing it. <laughs> I think it was definitely um, an experience. Playing that game was definitely some sort of experience, you know? But... You know, we beat it. That's the only thing that can be said about it. We beat it. It's all good. At the end of the day, we conquered. Oh my god. I'm so... These jumps are so not good. No, please. It's okay. It's fine. It's okay. We'll get back. We'll get back. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, as you can tell, the tower has a lot of sand in it, and, um, I think sand is my weakest mechanic in Jump King. Um, it's why I struggled so hard with Ghost of the Babe, because the tower at the end just has so much sand. Um, if you're good at sand, I think this tower will be no problem for you. But I've been grinding the tower for, I want to say, at least 50 hours. Um, I got up to the tower area pretty early on. Um, it's just some of these jumps are really weirdly precise. And then, of course, compounded with having to jump sand, um, I keep getting thrown back um, and then trying to like make progress, which is really hard for me. Um, I like her watching me do snake ring. She's like, why is he struggling? I'll tell you my secret. I've done all these maps, but with the reset. What's the reset? Is it, um, if you miss a jump, you can go back to where you were standing? Jump reset. Ah, I see. I think part of the fun is, um, falling. <laughs> and then getting back to where you were um because you know like of course jump reset would make the game so much faster so much faster um but i think part of it is like grinding the map i'm such a noob for this no it's fine i mean you can play however you want to play it's your game it's your experience if that's how you enjoy playing the game who am I to tell you differently? Um, you know, I'm not about to shame anyone for playing the game the way they want to. At the end of the day, it's just a game. So, however you play it, as long as you get enjoyment out of it, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not about to be like the game police, you know, the jump king police. Like, there's no one valid way to play it. Princess, you can shame me anytime. Hi, Gov. Welcome in. You can you can listen to my audios for that. You know, like here we're say so, we're happy, we're fun. If you go to my ASMR channel, you know maybe <laughs> maybe maybe I can you know like talk down on you or something. <laughs> How are you doing, Gov? Welcome in. Hello, hello. How's the weather over there? I hope it's uh, getting nice and cool for the doggos. I don't mind people shitting on that. I mean, I feel like why would someone, it's like yucking someone's yum, you know? Like here, we don't yuck anyone's yums. If that's what you enjoy, like I'm not, I, I, I would feel terrible for like, you know, shitting on you. Cause like maybe it's an accessibility thing. I don't know. I have other things to do, but I love uh, like you focusing on it. Yeah, see like for me, I know that I have plenty of time. Other people may not have the time that I have, so that's okay. You know, don't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> it's totally okay. At the end of the day, we both are playing games that we love, and that's all that matters. Two, one, two, one, two. Nice. Okay, we'll jump here. Wait, I have ice on. Okay, that's fine. One, two, one, two. No! Fuck. Uh, couldn't care, but I can't lie and be like, I beat this easy. <laughs> it has been cold, but it only snowed like one time. We got one doggo on medication for some reason. He's been having bad seizures. Oh god, I'm so sorry. 
Do you know if this is related to kind of all of the, um, I know there's been like a canine respiratory disease going around, so, um, Hermes hasn't been, you know, socializing with other dogs, but, um, I heard it's like this mysterious thing that like, if you don't have to take your dog to the vet, like, please don't take them. But obviously if your dog is like having seizures, that's serious and they need to go get diagnosed. Um... How long has it been going for and how long is the medication for? Do you know? COVID. I don't know. I don't think it's COVID for dogs. I'm, oh shit. Um, I'm actually not sure what it is. Because um, every article that I've read said that vets aren't too sure what it is either. Um, so, but maybe my information is outdated because I last read that about like a month ago so i'm not sure if that's still you know the same information that is current because maybe maybe they've already figured out what's wrong i hope that isn't a thing my wife has a corgi he had a lump on his neck lump just sounds like it might be like a like growth dogs get weird lumps everywhere <laughs> you can you can like take them to the vet and have the vet cut it off. But um, I think dogs growing lumps when they get older is quite normal. Um, saying it's probs cancer. Yeah, I mean, if you take them to the vet early enough, you can catch it and be able to like have it excised um, before it becomes like a problem. That's good. Okay, so they cut it off already. That's good. Hopefully it's nothing too serious and it was just like a growth of skin cells and not cancer because that would suck. I'm sorry. They said it's cancer? Did you get the test back? Or are you still waiting for the results? <laughs> I'll be fine. I mean, as long as his quality of life hasn't, you know, decreased. Got him when he was three. I think it started before we got him, but he is all right now. Oh, okay, that's good, Gov. I'm so sorry that... You have to go through this and your dog also has to go through this. That sucks. Um, they got the test back. Gotcha. Okay, I'm sorry. Hopefully, uh, you know, your dog is able to, like, get through that if you're, you know, taking your dog to, like, have medication. And I don't know, do dogs go to chemotherapy? Um, I know when my family dog got sick with cancer, he... My sister took him to like get a portion of his hip uh, taken out because of the cancerous bone. Um, but he quickly declined after that. So we had to like make the hard decision of, you know, like putting him down. Um, but I don't think he ever went to chemo. Um, not sorry to me. I'm just wondering if is it the same thing? I'm not a dog owner. I mean, your wife has a corgi. Doesn't that mean you also have a corgi? Or do you consider it your wife's dog? <laughs> oh, good. Great. Okay, good. Awesome. Okay, fantastic. Okay, perfect. Wife's dog. I see. I see. Okay, we'll jump here. I love him. What's the Corky's name? What's the doggo's name? I have just never been a dog owner, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Everything is new. Oh, fuck. Fine, okay, fine, it's fine, it's fine. I hate this jump, I hate this jump. No, fuck, it's fine. How is the good boy Hermes? He's doing well, thank you for asking, Gov. Um, Sahaya Fan, so it means blizzard. Tui, tui school? I don't, I'm sorry. It's probably a language that I don't know. <laughs> probably a language that I, I don't know. He's a Finn. Tui school. Am I saying it right? 
I don't think I'm saying it right. <laughs> Tusku. Oh, I see. Tusku. Thank you for the pronunciation for that. It means blizzard. Ah, I see. Fuck. It's fine. We'll get back. Just grinding the perfect jump. Still, I can't... After all this time, I still can't get the jump power for that one jump. And it fucks me up every time. All these other jumps are fine until I get to that one sand jump. And then all of a sudden, I just can't jump anymore. Okay, it's this fucking jump. I hate this jump so much. Here we go. Fine. Okay, full jump here, full jump here. Okay, full jump once I get to the edge. Okay. Did you still want to hang out tomorrow after you finish your errand? I have a sentry egg. Do you want to make porridge? <gasps> I do want to make porridge. Let's make porridge. Um, I don't know when I can come over. Um, because of what I told you. But if... If I can come over, I will let you know. How late can I come over? <laughs> how, how late can I come over? Whenever. Okay. Or actually, maybe I'll just come over early and then go home early. Let's eat porridge and watch Ghibli movies. That sounds fantastic. Do you want to watch um, When the Wind Rises? Because you said you haven't watched that yet, right? Also, I need to stop by the uh, post office there to see if they'll accept my, po my, my mail. Because um, stupid... Post office here. No, please! God damn it. Uh, the post office here won't take my mail. If you can, uh, pick up a medium flat rate box for me. Can you Discord me that? Because I'm not gonna remember that unless you send it to me on Discord. Thank you. Okay, it's fine. Fuck. I like the breakfast song from Poppy Hill. What's the breakfast song from Poppy Hill? The breakfast song. It sounds cute. I should do more singing streams. I had so much fun singing at the beginning of stream. <laughs> it's just because today I've been singing all day because I've been hanging out with people who can sing, you know, so. Um. Up on Poppy Hill starts with a breakfast song. Thank you. I will definitely listen to it um, later. When I am able to. I need to try to get some recording done too so that I can start early on the audio editing um, for Monday's um, <laughs> scheduled release. Because I scheduled Fridays, we're good there. Um, but I really, really should start working on these like in advance, you know? Because I'm kind of just flying by the seat of my pants, barely meeting these deadlines that I set for myself. These arbitrary deadlines that I set for myself and I told myself, you know, princess, one re-upload that I still edit, by the way, and one new audio every week, you can do that. That's not that much audio editing. I played myself. I absolutely played myself. It's terrible. Um, so, you know, having a hard time. Because today I went through my audio um, from like the re-upload, right? And I was re-editing it and I was looking at the files and I was like, where's the audio file? Why is it a MP4? You know, like that's a movie file with an image already inserted into it, but there's nothing on the image. Like, why did I export it this way. Why didn't I just export like a WAV file for myself to edit? So you don't sing yourself? I don't usually sing. Um, I 
feel like I'm not a great singer, which is why I try not to sing too much. Um, but sometimes it's fun to just not feel self-conscious and, and try to sing anyways, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I'm, I don't think I'm a singer, but um, I do enjoy singing songs in my car, so. Princess doesn't sing. Princess jumps. Hello, Volkiller. Welcome, welcome. Can we give Volkiller a shout out, please, ever, if you're still there? How are you? Hello, hello. Why do you think you're not a great singer? Because, I don't know, like, I've heard my singing. I don't think I'm that great at it. <laughs> Thank you. How's your game going? Have you been streaming um, recently? Because Stream Elements doesn't tell me when the last time you streamed was, so it could have been, you know, the same time as the last time you came in. <laughs> but how's the game going? How are you doing, Volkiller? Are you getting ready for the holidays? Are you prepared for the holidays that are coming? Because um, time stops for no one, and the holidays are coming quite soon. I did yesterday, working on a little bakery. Oh my god, that's so cute. Did you think you're a good jumper at the start? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> when I first started this game, I was a terrible jumper. So bad. But I don't- I feel like I don't practice singing like I, you know, quote unquote, practice jumping. I jump like all the time. Not great, mind you, as you can see, playing the same 10 jumps over and over again, but, um, you know. I'm the brother that gets invited to other siblings' houses, so the holidays are not too bad for me. Oh, that's awesome! Ah, so like a load off of your mental, you know, like, processing that you have to do. You don't have to really prep anything unless they ask you to like bring a dish for food, like it's some kind of potluck, I guess. And then you just have to bring the presents. I uh, like whistling, but it makes me laugh, which ruins the whistling. That's really cute, Floppy. <laughs> Cuts the clip of Princess jumping down her hallway. You know, um, I don't jump in real life nearly as often as I jump in Jump King, which is a shame. I think maybe perhaps we should jump. We should all jump. A little bit more IRL, but um, I don't. It's official. I'm being sent to Japan November 9th uh, to the 23rd. Next year? Is it for work? I mean, feel free to not tell us, by the way. Um, or vacation. My whole family also knows I only get gifts for the people I want, but mainly my niece. Oh, that's adorable. Don't make me link jump by Van Halen. No, it's my dad forcing me to travel. Oh, I'm sorry. Are, are you gonna like, try to put together an itinerary that at least you will enjoy? Are you able to like kind of go off on your own? Um, Maybe do some sightseeing that you yourself would enjoy? Cause kind of sucks if your dad is just monopolizing all of your time <laughs> when you're there, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is he at least paying for it? <laughs> the important question, right? Is he paying for it? Uh, I can pretty much do whatever. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I feel like November is a great time for um, going to Koyo, like going to see Koyo, um, which is like the orange leaves for fall. It's really, really pretty. When you get to the right season and you go to like the mountains it's so beautiful to see all those trees turning orange Fuck. uh to see all those trees turning nice and orange ah oh, well that's fine Fuck. um could be worse places to travel even if you are not picking to go very true very true he is. Thus, it is less a complaint. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> Enjoy your, what, like two weeks there? That sounds like it's two weeks. Maybe a week and a half uh, in Japan. 
I want to see Akihabara and maybe get to Nagasaki. So very different sides of the island. Oof. Make sure you uh, research... Um, fuck. Make sure you research rail passes that will make it worth it because some travel passes um, will allow you to take any of the same train company uh, if you have it for a week or two. Um, others you can only use on select lines, so there's a lot of research there for you to do. But um, when I went, the JR Pass was quite affordable, and it was exactly what I needed to travel from one end of Japan all the way to the other end. Are we winning, fan? Hello, welcome in! We are... Not winning. But welcome in! Hello, thank you for shouting fan out! Oh, okay, there we go. I was like, oh, what happened? Um... Oh my gosh, Kuma! Can we get a shout out for Kuma too? Why is everyone showing up right now? Um, guys, if you haven't, please check out Fan. Fan was one of my top five streamers this year because I love hanging out with him and he's just really chill. And Kuma! Oh my gosh, if you guys love seeing... Is it New York, Kuma, that you walk around? Because I, I kind of tune into your streams to like see you walking around and the sights are really nice and um, you go grab meals and it's really great. Um, but Kuma was a game streamer, but I think he's recently changed. He's made a shift like... I think like... Um, was it halfway through 2023? Halfway through this year? Maybe earlier, because um, I know you were on hiatus for a while. Uh, but he came back and started uh, streaming just walking around New York, and it's really chill. It's like such a great stream. Um, just stopping by before going to bed. Oh, thank you, fan. I really appreciate that. I hope you have a good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Uh, but how are you, Kuma? Welcome in. It's been a while. I hope you've been well. Are you doing anything special for the holidays? Do you have a special stream for the holidays that you're going to be doing? That'll be fun. An IRL New York Christmas stream. I have to have an itinerary by February. Why by February? That's so early. You're going in November, right? Unless your dad is only taking um, itiner itinerary requests until February, which is weird, but you know, whatever. I'll be streaming. Nothing special, but defo gonna walk around. The goal is to do some traveling IRL too. Oh, that's awesome! Where are you gonna... Um, what plans do you have for next year? Like, I assume these are next year plans um, for traveling. But uh, where are you gonna go? Where is life going to take you next? You know, here I am just playing Gem King for the past 100 hours, but um, Kuma's out there, you know, <laughs> seeing the world. <laughs> Show us them rats with the pizza. Oh my god, I want to see Pizza Rat, and I also want to see Donut Rat. You know, when uh, me and Ever went to New York City, we tried looking so hard for a Pizza Rat when we were in the subways. Couldn't find one, didn't see any Pizza Rats. And then recently there was a picture of a donut rat and we were just like, didn't see a donut rat either. Uh, I'm the worst at planning, so we will see. I love that there is a little you in game now. I know um, this was actually a birthday present by my best friend Eversel there. Um, because as you know, Kuma, I love Jump King so much. Um, she commissioned an artist to do pixel art of me. And she also asked one of my community members who mods Jump King maps. And so he put together a mod for my skin in game. And that's how I'm now in my favorite game. I am a character in my favorite game, Jump King. Um, all thanks to my best friend um, <laughs> who gifted the me this. Um, not a single pizza rat was seen. It's such a shame. Pizza rats are hard to find. Wait, really? You would think that there's a pizza rat on, in every subway station in New York City. <laughs> rats? Hello, Cheese Wizard. How are you? Welcome in. Rats? Rats. We're talking about pizza rats um, in New York City um, and how Ever and I <laughs> looked so hard for pizza rats and we didn't find any. It was such a shame. You know... 
I'm still gonna search. The next time I'm in New York City, I'm still gonna search for the pizza rats. It's a thing. Also, by the way, Kuma, congrats on partner. I don't know when that happened. I know um, when you shifted to IRL streams, you started getting a lot more viewers. Um, and you seem to be really happy doing what you're doing now. So um, congratulations, by the way. Partner is a huge achievement. <laughs> Could have skipped the trip to New York City. I've gone, gone straight to Chuck E. Cheese. You know, if you want to see a pizza rat, I guess Chuck E. Cheese is the place fuck to go um, if that's what you wanted. Um, surely there's all in Joe's. Oh, they're all in Joe's Pizza. Is Joe's Pizza like a famous pizza place? I don't actually know. I don't know where we went to go get pizza. We grabbed like pizza right across from our airbnb i think when we were staying in harlem um but i don't remember the name of the pizza place i don't even know if it was like a famous pizza place it was just pizza it was great pizza um you know that one meme with the guy grabbing the rat you mean the uh, i was crazy once <laughs> if i find a pizza rat i'll make sure to yes Kuma, please. I would absolutely love that. Please make a clip and like, I don't care if you DM me. I'm giving you permission, Kuma. Just hit me up, hit, my, hit up my DMs because I would share it with Ever so fast. Um, or you can come here and share your clip. Like, carte blanche. I don't care. Just come in, share your pizza rat clip with us because I would love that. <laughs> we went to one famous place in Brooklyn. Oh, yay! Uh, what was the name? It was like, I just remember the tables being slightly sticky. <laughs> uh, my phone background is a neon blue and purple stylized version of that rat. Oh, that sounds like it would burn my retinas. Was it LNB? What was it? Um, they had like checkered, like uh, vinyl tablecloths, and um, I mean, their mar was it their marinara pizza that we had? Or not marinara, uh, uh, margarita pizza. And then we also had like maybe like a sausage pizza. I mean, I'm not being very descriptive. Most pizza places have these pizza options. Um, there was like a big mirror in the back of the restaurant. I don't know if that helps. <laughs> Allegedly the first pizzeria in the US. Allegedly. I have no idea if that was true. <laughs> It's what they claim, right? Um, I have no idea. I'm a Brit. I just imagine the Yorkshire pudding rat. That's so funny. A Yorkshire pudding is quite delicious. Um, I have tried to make some. Um, you know what I really liked when I was traveling in the UK for work? Um, the first time I had it, a lemon posset. They're, they're just... Something about a lemon posset is just so delicious. I don't... I can't even be oh, fuck begin to describe like it was just so yummy. Lombardies. Oh wait, was it Manhattan? Th I, that sounds familiar. I'm pretty sure we went to Lombardies. A lemon posset. Is it posset? Is it called a posset? A lemon posset? To be fair, I was in like uh, what area was I in? I was in like Nuneaton. Wool Wolvi? I think that's the area I was in. Lombardies. Probably just remembered the location wrong. Yeah. We're just we're not New Yorkers, you know? Like we don't we don't know where anything is. <laughs> Manhattan, Brooklyn, it's all the same to me. <laughs> it's like a, a lemon and cream almost panna cotta kind of. Um it's really good. I really, really enjoy it. Um Oh, Northern, I see. Okay. Maybe there's a difference. Because I was in... I guess where the area I was in is considered like the Midlands of the UK. Not 100% sure. I was there for work, so I didn't really travel that much. Um, I did see like the cool... Um, like auto museum in Nuneaton. Was it Nuneaton? I think it was Nuneaton. Um... Was it Nuneaton? Hold on. Nuneaton Auto Museum. The British Motor Museum. Oh, no, no, no. It was Coventry. The Coventry Transport Museum. 
I guess that's closer to Birmingham. I guess the... Where was I? Oh, God, I don't know. I was close to Coventry. We went to the cathedral there. I also went to the uh, guild hall in Coventry. Um, I don't know where anything is. Uh, sounds like you're making names up. It's true, though. I'm not making it up. Is it South? Where, like, the, the, the train station I was at said it was, like, the Midlands of the UK. And I was like, ah, oh, okay, I don't, I don't know what that means, but uh, I guess, I guess well, I'm in the Midlands. <laughs> uh, I want to go back to New York City. It was so fun traveling there. And I got to see so many cool people. I got to see, um, Sorens and Sev and, um... Ellie's friend was really cool. Uh, drinking at the bar was nice. <laughs> they love to lie. What do you mean they love to lie? All of my coworkers were very, very sweet um, when I was in the UK for work. They were just so accommodating and so nice. Oh, we back to the beginning. Uh, not quite. It is the fake out beginning, John, um, because I will be back to the ice very shortly. If I can get these jumps right. Um, but are you, John, are you going to be trying to do uh, custom maps next or are you kind of like over jump king right now? I completely understand if you are. <laughs> Did you see the queen? I have not seen the babe yet. Unfortunately, she has eluded me this entire time. But um, I think eventually uh, we will get there eventually. Very, very slowly. Um, I'm not in any rush. I do. I would just like to see her before the end of the year. I know perhaps oh, for someone at my skill level, it's asking for a lot. But, you know, a girl can dream. Uh, unsure. What are you unsure about? Why do you have to think about it, John? It's such a great game. You should definitely play. <laughs> you should definitely only play the custom maps. <laughs> no rush needed. She's in a grave. Oh my god, it's been a hundred hours. That lady has waited for me for so long. I better, you know, like, I better at least follow through and see her at the end. This is, like, necessary at this point. It's a matter of pride. I don't know if I should just skip. I don't know. I feel like I want to keep going in map release order, but at the same time, I'm like, there's so many Jump King maps. I feel like it would be much better if I played them in like order of difficulty. You know what I mean? Can I ask Princess roughly whereabouts in America? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in California. It's like, California's huge, um, so I'm not gonna, it's not gonna dox me, it's fine. Um, it's hard finding people hooked on Jump King. It is because it's so, it's so difficult, um, and people get angry very easily. But hello, Zar, welcome in, how are you? Good evening. Hope you've been doing well. Um, Cali, yeah, I am a Cali girl. Um, I love... Blinkus? All I can say. What's Blinkus? Blink Blinkies? Blinkies? Used to growing up. Been sick. COVID, I think. Oh no, sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you kind of like almost through most of the bad symptoms or are you kind of like through the thick of it right now? Blink. Blink 182. Oh, um, what's their famous song? I totally forgot. It's been... It's been a hot minute since I've listened to Blink-182. <laughs> uh, Cause I think, um, I've listened to their music when I was in like, maybe elementary school and middle school. What's my age again? What's my age again? Something like that in the thick of it. No loss of taste, just regular flu symptoms. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, Zara. I hope that you're able to rest up 
drink lots of liquids and get lots of soup in you um, to, you know, kind of get your daily calories in um, if you're able to. Um, and I hope that you get better soon. I'm sorry. The pain when sneezing? Oh, that sounds rough. Like I told to my friends that were watching me on Discord, this game is about ego and it triggers me so much when I drop down so low after a minuscule progress. It's true. Um, I think you hit the nail on the head. I think that's why I'm able to play this game. I think when it comes to Jump King, I have no ego. I've just fully accepted that like I'm gonna suck at this game. Um, you know? Fuck. Um, but that's a good way of putting it, because, like, you you gain an inch and then you lose a mile, you know? Like, that's just how the game goes. And then you play it all over again and try to, like, learn the jumps in between to get up. <laughs> 31, so hopefully I'm not that old, uh, like Blake. Feel better soon, Zar. Thanks for the good vibes, of course. Anytime. Anytime you are here, we have good vibes to offer. It's all chill vibes. It's not like um, <clears throat> oh, the Twitch front page, not front page, the Twitch art category. Hold on, I'm gonna check real fast. Art was like wild in today. I think it's calmed down because people kept getting banned because they were really testing the, um, they were really testing the limits, but nope, there are still a whole bunch of people just, doing the the most they are doing so much they are um yep 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 yep, yep. doing the most um if you don't if you don't want to scar yourself for life please don't browse art right now it's not good for you um they made some changes after today did they was there like an announcement on twitch let me see did they like update it Twitch. Um, they, I haven't seen. Uh, just watching the CEO stream. Oh, I see. I didn't get a chance to catch that. <laughs> Hope so. Yeah, it's been people have been wilding out there. Like, I get it that like, it's a boon to artists, but like, please, let's let artists decide how they want to use that. Right, like. Don't take over this category trying to, like, get around the rules, because it ain't working. We all know what you're trying to do. Princess is in her 80s, so you have nothing to worry about. I know. I'm, like, an old grandma. Don't worry. I got years on you, youngster. Um, I hear today that Twitch is allowing nudes. So... It's very specific, and I don't understand why people have problems with understanding the rule. I thought it was quite clear when I was reading the new TOS. So what's allowed now is you are allowed to show nudity if you are doing an art stream. Part of the art, right? Like, you can't just have random nudity on the stream. And the other thing is, like, they mentioned that nudity should not be the focus of the art piece, right? Like, it's okay if it's um, part of the art, but there shouldn't be a focus on, like, the nudity or the genitalia or whatever. It, You know, like, it's just so that people can work on their art without getting, like, banned by, by Twitch and, like, people who are, um, yeah. Right, yeah. So the other thing is that people kept like <sighs> trying and failing, right, to do is um, there was another portion where it was um, relevant to streamers, right, regarding attire. And I think because people saw, oh, nudity in art is okay, they like head empty were like, my VTuber is art so i'm gonna stream nude and like no they specifically mentioned in attire like if you use a model driven by like you know face tracking or whatever or you know like some kind of model tracking software that translates your motion onto the screen like that model is not allowed to be nude like you still are um 
you still are held to the same rules as a streamer who streams via camera. So certain areas of your body have to be covered up um, and you can't do like a sheer panel. It has to be an, an opaque panel. Um, I thought it was quite clear when I was reading the TOS. Apparently reading comprehension is not a thing for <laughs> many people, um, but it was ridiculous. Uh, they allow more dancing, but that's more because it's hard to be like, this is that dance. Oh yeah, um, like they, I think they allow exotic dancing and pole dancing now, but in the context of like, you know, this is dancing and it's not like supposed to be explicit or whatever because like i've seen pole dancers dance and like it's beautiful and <laughs> guys do you know how hard pole dancing is like you your body is fucking beaten and bruised afterwards like it's hard work um i like to see the art category on top but come on <laughs> yeah yeah uh you made me curious now i want to see you are totally welcome to see it's a lot cleaner than it was earlier today's are but it's still not great but you know, look at your own risk. Um, just don't read it because it means nothing to me. But I do see penguins talking about it. I try to keep up to date with Twitch news because I feel like, you know, anything that comes out about Twitch is going to affect me as a streamer. So I should at least know what's going on. Um, I just think that people have been like super childish about it and like <laughs> prodding where they're not where they shouldn't be. That's just my my little take on that. Um, it's just been really demoralizing to see all day. <laughs> Biggest thing is like you will remove, be removed from search if you are doing something, which is good. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That's absolutely good. It is tamer, unlike just chatting. Is just chatting like also really bad right now? What's going on in just chatting? I usually don't look at just chatting. Um... I know some people browse the just ca chatting category for like new streamers to watch, but for me, I think the just chatting category is super, um, what's the word? Um, like saturated. Um, so usually if I don't want people to find me, I switch over to just chatting because <laughs> then you can't see me in any of the shelves. Like you have to scroll so far down to see me in the just chatting category. I'm like, this is great. No one can find me. Um, I can just hang out with everyone in the community and it's just like a chill time, you know? Now you know why I switched to just chatting. Um, first thing for me is that popular trend lately with the new girl, the new Twitch, Twitch meta, meta, it's like so dumb. And like technically that is allowed, but you know, like... God forbid Twitch just be like normal for one day. <laughs> Biggest issue in just chatting is people using a crop to make it look topless, but they will soon be removed from browser. Oh, is that confirmed that uh, if you're... Because technically, that's not against TOS, right? You know? I don't think it is. Princess wants to keep us just for her. Exactly. I feel like sometimes I just want it to be like a small thing. I don't want new people to come in and I just want to hang out with everyone. Um... So then I go into just chatting to like hide. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay, that's fine. Um, to hide. I should have jumped more. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. One, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. It's fine. Um, this part of the reason they changed the TOS. Uh, oh yeah, the <laughs> because the streamer. Um. Everyone was getting really angry because of the way that they selectively apply their rules. Because I know VTubers that got like hit by a ban just for showing pieces of their model that like, you know, looked a little bit risque, but was much more covered than some of the other um, <laughs> Twitch streamers, uh, face cameras on Twitch. Um, and I know artists that have gotten bonked because you know, like of something that they were drawing. And now they're like, why is it fair that you have face cameras doing this and we were banned because of such a small infraction, you know, when these streamers are doing it so blatantly. And so I guess it just forced Twitch to like make some kind of official announcement and they had to like clarify the rules. Shit. Um, just annoys me because my wife is an art streamer and then they gain views from stripping naked or whatever. Yeah. 
Um, except the people watching those streams don't watch other streams. Yeah, it's true. Like, to be fair, the audience for those streams aren't gonna be the ones that go into, like, streams like mine or your wife's. Like, they're there for the risque stuff. And, like, fucking go to Fansly or go to OnlyFans. Like, that's what that content is for, you know? Like, there are definitely streamers who do those streams and will provide that content for you. And there's nothing wrong with that, like, but don't go to Twitch expecting that because most people streaming on Twitch are normal people who like, not that I'm saying sex work isn't normal, it's totally normal, but like who are just chill and like don't want to see that stuff. Like I don't want to open Twitch and just see like boobs everywhere, you know? Um. This is drawing, yeah. I feel like it could be on Twitch, just with a clear category. Yeah, I mean, that's fair too. If you could clearly tag it or categorize it so that I don't have to see it, great. You know, I will never visit that side of Twitch, but like, right now it's just everywhere because everyone's just trying to be like super edgy and trying to test the limits. And I'm like, this isn't cool for me. Like, this is no fun, you know? Like, I don't want to go into the art category and see half of it is like boobs or booty like and it's like intentional it's not like they're working on it because they want to it's like they want to test twitch and the the limits you know wakes up good luck returns back to sleep thank you abaddon i am grinding the tower good night sleep tight <laughs> hot tub stream I'm gonna I'm gonna go grab a hot tub asset and just sit in the hot tub with my with my hoodie. <laughs> That's my new meta. <laughs> I'm the guy who doesn't like Twitch, which is for gaming and showing body dominates instead. I mean to be fair, right? Like I'm one of those people who are like, okay, it's fine. Like flaunt what you have. That's totally cool. But also, like, I think this is supposed to be, like, a 13 and up site, you know? Like, maybe keep it PG-13 and not, like, R-rated. Gaming isn't, and gaming is still on top. <laughs> Princess, you have a beach outfit for the hot tub. I do, but I'm just gonna sit in the hot tub in my hoodie anyways. So, you know, that beach outfit that I have, it's almost like it doesn't exist. <laughs> there are only three women in the top 1k streamers true yeah i think this year with the twitch recap all of the top streamers on twitch were men which you know like i think it's just when women do stuff it's just like people talk about it more and point it out more but definitely like the top streamers on twitch are still men like it's really hard as a woman to like make it big on twitch um, those streams are tiny. They are just visible. Yeah. And like, it's controversial, right? So people talk about it a lot. So you see it a lot more and you're like, dang, they're totally breaking the rules. But like, in the grand scheme of things, these women don't make nearly in as much money as like the top streamers. Like they probably get a lot of money and they probably are able to funnel it into like their other pages. But, you know, I think at the end of the day, we're, we're all trying to hustle. Um and just tag it just like just give me a way to tag it so that i don't have to see it like that's all i'm asking like you can exist we can exist in the same space but like i just i don't i don't want to see it <laughs> i'm not asked if it's men or women just go on another website i mean i think there are definitely people on twitch looking for that stuff and like despite you or me not wanting to watch it there are people who are on twitch who want to see it right there is a market and a niche for it so um fine if you had to opt into that tag that would be great instead of opting out you would have to opt in that would be great i will never get bored of the charging jump sprite it's so cute right john i love it so much the artist that ever um Commission for this did so good on the sprite. I super enjoy it. Nice, okay. 
You can do the Oompa Loompa dance with it. Nav, hello, welcome in. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for coming in. Guys, if you haven't already, you should definitely check out Nav. He's an amazing streamer, a VTuber. Um, one of my near and dear friends. Um, he's just chill. He has a really nice voice, very comforting and soothing. Watching chat, don't worry about it. Well enough, and you. No plug. I want to plug my friends. I love showing them off to people. People should follow them and watch them. I'm crazy. That's all you need to know. <laughs> and he's getting a new model made. The new model is very pretty. Um, do you know when your artist is going to finish that model? We're slowly making it. We're slowly making it. Don't, don't, don't jinx myself now. Don't jinx yourself. Don't jinx yourself, princess. Don't jinx yourself. Don't jinx yourself. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think my bread is ready. <gasps> Floppy, take a picture of your bread for us when you're all done. I want to see your bread. I want to see your bread. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay. Very gently walk this way. Okay. Um, should be by the end of the month. Next month is rigging. Good luck on bread. Chat, wake up. Chat, wake up. Everybody, wake up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't wake up. I'm totally gonna miss these jumps. I haven't practiced these jumps because I have barely gotten here at all. This is not an area I am accustomed to. Especially this jump. Um... I forgot what the jump was. What just was it just like a two? One, two, one, two, one, two. Oh no! Am I supposed to be further forward? Shit. I forgot how I was standing. Ah uh, well. Womp womp. Okay. Okay. I stood too far back. Okay, that was my bad. I every time We've only made that jump, like, once, I think. So, to be fair, I wasn't paying attention to how I was positioning my feet. <laughs> it wasn't a one-two. I think it is. I just didn't position my foot correctly. So, um, when we get back there, I need to scoot forward a little bit. Just remember to scoot forward. Scoot forward. We just have to try our best to get back. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. Oh, Neff, wait, I never um, got to talk to you about the thing that you were asking for your project. Um, I should talk to you about that tomorrow. I don't remember the strength of the jump. I think it was a two. I'm pretty sure. Um, because I remember barely missing it. And I think the barely missing it was like a very short two so i think it's just like a two is okay one two one two ah! it's okay it's fine okay one two one two okay one two one two nice one two okay great all of those are different twos it just feels like the correct two to me so you know Okay. Okay. We'll jump here. This is a long three here. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Also, welcome in, Beetle Ian. Hello, hello. <laughs> you came in when we were talking. How are you? Welcome in. No! Okay, that's fine. Okay. One, two. One, two. Okay. One, two. Great. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, that's fine. There we go. One, two, three. Nice. 
I'm off to bed. Have a good time jumping. Sampo, thank you so much for coming in. Can someone please tuck Sampo in? <laughs> good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. It was so nice catching up with you again, Sampo. I hope you have a good evening. And if I don't catch you before Christmas, I hope you have a happy holidays. If you celebrate the holidays and I hope you have a happy new year. Bye, Sampo. Thank you, Zar. I appreciate you. Sleep well. Thank you, Neff, for tucking Sampo in as well. I appreciate everyone. I just say, like, generically, I hope no one gets angry at me for generically saying, like, happy holidays, because I don't know what anyone celebrates. Um, I celebrate Christmas, but not in the, like, I'm Christian and I celebrate Christmas. I celebrate the very Americanized version of Christmas um, with no religious connotations. <laughs> so... I know there are other holidays around this time of year as well, um, and I don't want to exclude anybody. So I say holidays. Hope that's not something bad. <laughs> I started the new DLC for Pokemon today. My friend was furious at my crazy luck for finding shiny Pokemon in under 20 minutes going in the new area. Goodness, that is some really good luck. Um, Bye, Sampo! That is some really amazing luck. Wow, that was almost not good for me. Okay. We'll jump here. Oh my god. I'm so stressed out, this is hurting my stomach a little bit. I'm holding the stress in my stomach. It hurts. <laughs> two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh my god, Abaddon, your map is gonna give me an ulcer. I don't know if you're still sleeping, but your map is gonna give me an ulcer. I hope you hear this. When you realize you're high up again, the stress settles in. It really does. It really does. Really good! <laughs> okay. Oh no, why did I do that? Do I scoot back? Do I scoot back for that? Is it better if I scoot back there? Not great. All right, that's fine. I was so close to trying that jump again, but alas, I was blocked by the jump before it. As soon as I come in, she's just in free fall. Free fallin'. Hi, Martine. Welcome in. How are you? Good evening. Hello, hello. How have you been, Martine? I hope you've been well. How how are how is December treating you? How are the holidays? Are you all set? Are you ready? Are you ready to celebrate the season? Basically walked here and there near the starting area, getting my Pokemon, uh, Pokedex filled, Pokedex filled in, and boom, the blue trap hinge just chill in there. You know, um, I was talking to, I think it was Cupid, and I was like, you know what we, sh well, she was like, you know what we should do? She was like, we should do an art stream together, and I was like, I'd be down. And she was like, we should draw Pokemon. She, was, she said she was hesitating to ask me this because she knows I have trauma around Pokemon because of, you know, what happened when I was in fifth grade. Um, but she was like, we should play Pokemon together. And I was like, yeah, that's a, or not play Pokemon, draw Pokemon. And I was like, yeah, that sounds cool. I think it'd be really funny because her concept is this. Hold on one second. Her concept is this. We would randomize Pokemon and uh, Cupid would play from memory or would draw the Pokemon from memory, which, you know, great. Awesome. Okay. Because she, she knows Pokemon. Me, princess. Oh, nice. Um, I would play and draw the Pokemon guessing, using the name and any clues about the Pokedex entry because we'll get the Pokedex entry, okay? Using clues from the name and the Pokedex entry, I would try to visualize what that Pokemon looked like and draw it. And I thought, that sounds like such a funny stream. I would be so down to do that, you know? Like, that sounds hilarious. 
I think everyone would really enjoy that. <laughs> I'm addicted to a miniature game called Hero Clicks. Oh, what's it about, uh, Martine? A trap pinch, too. Flygon's a cool Pokemon. We'll start you off easy with Fido. I do love Fido. Fido is such a cute... I can draw Fido from memory. Um, but I don't know about other Pokemon. Maybe I could draw some Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet if I remember seeing it, but, um... But that's a hard maybe. I'm not really... I know, like, the original 150, and then I know some of the Johto League Pokemon, um, because I watched that when I was younger, but I don't think I know that much. Okay, so we'll jump here. Can go a little bit further, okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice. One, two, three. Nice. One, two. Okay, we'll jump here. I wish I could draw good enough. I, I'm, I feel like I'm not a good drawer, but I would still, I would still do it to like, um, you know, provide some entertainment to you guys and have a good time with uh, Cupid while doing so. <laughs> we'll just do our best. The only thing that we can do, you know, just doing our best. Okay. Okay, nice. <gasps> okay, we made it. Okay, okay. So now we just have to be careful here when we do our little hops and then make sure we're all the way to the wall before we do our jump. Make sure you're careful on the little hop. And then... No, please! Fuck. It's mostly DC and Marvel characters, but also some other collabs. Anyways, like um, Warhammer and other miniature games. You move across a map mixing using different heroes and villains teams and mixing and matching for strong combos. I see, I see. And do you play that like... Um, by yourself or is there like a computer that you can play against or is there other people that you can play against i just gotta focus on getting back i'm a bread wizard floppy says coming back floppy did your bread turn out perfectly today i can't wait to see your delicious pillowy piece of loaf of dough. When did- do you have- I feel like you make bread so often. How often do you make bread? Is it like every other day or something? Because I feel like, um, usually when I play Jump King, I know you make bread. So maybe it's at least once a week. I know that. Um, Man, I wish I had someone in my family to make me fresh bread every week. What kind of bread? You can play it solo, co-op, or competitively since you can freely create scenarios before the game starts. I see. It turned out so nice, I shed a tear and did a dance in the kitchen. That's adorable. <laughs> make it like every two to three days depending on how fast we go through it for breakfast. Dang. That's amazing. That is incredible. Okay, jump there. This one is a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, one, two. We'll jump here. Two, one, two. One, two, nice. Okay, just a little hop. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh! I wasn't supposed to do a full jump. Is it a full jump? Did I just like... Is that a full jump? 
I like did not think that that was a full jump. Um, anyways, um, okay. Oh well. Ah, fuck! You can jump back down and find out. I mean, I guess we'll see. I guess we shall see. If I back up enough, do you think it's a full jump? I guess we can test that, cause... I mean, do I need to test it though? Cause I know if I do like a three... <sighs> I hate that jump. How do I make that jump safer for myself? Because right now, I sometimes make it and I sometimes don't. And it makes me really angry. Is there a safer way to do that jump? The bonk jump seems safe, but I don't know the power for the bonk uh, for my head. Let's see real fast. Can students read sometimes? Um, they can... Okay, hold on. Oh, if I'm all the way here, I don't I don't need to bonk, um, because it'll make it. I feel like, yes, students can read, but will they read the thing that you want them to read? I think the answer is no. They'll read um captions on their TikToks on their phone, you know, but um I don't think they're gonna read that homework assignment that you gave to them, Beetle Ian. Like, just every so often before sending me an angry email for no reason. <laughs> Reading comprehension um, is not a thing anymore. <laughs> we just talked about this. It's not a thing anymore that people know how to do. <laughs> Reading comprehension doesn't exist. These damned kids with their cell phones and their fancy new dangled, uh, you know, technology. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, okay, full jump here. Two, one, two, one, two. Oh my god, okay. Okay, I really don't want to test that out because I don't need to. So, okay, that's so scary. That is so scary. That is such a scary jump. I hate that jump so much. Oh my god. Just because it's so narrow, you know? Like, it's so scary. Okay, up against the wall, full jump here, up against the wall, full jump here, hop. Okay, nice. Don't get nervous. Ugh, Zar, you know I'm gonna get nervous. You know that's just the nature of the beast here. You know it's gonna happen. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. You know it's gonna happen again. I'm, oh god. Totally gonna like mess it up. This is where, this is where I fuck it up. One two, 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 one two. Okay, okay. Forward more. Okay, so. Okay. One two, one two. No, too much. Okay. I didn't want to see the babe tonight anyways. It's okay. Um, they confused their score on two different midterms and thought I was decreasing their grade somehow. Get a little nervous. <laughs> How dare you, Beetle Ian. <laughs> this tower has so many tiny jumps. It really does. It really, really does. Okay, so... My two was too much of a two. It needed to be less of a two. Okay, so it kind of is a fast two. 
I don't know which area in Ghost of the Babe I struggle the most when I think about it. Not the tower? Did the sand in the tower trip you up? Because I think that was what tripped me up in Ghost of the Babe the most was the tower. Like, I was cool going through the bog and I was cool going through, like, ice and stuff. And even the cat tower was okay for me. But the sand in the tower was, for me, really difficult. I just... I think sand as a mechanic for me is really confusing because it it doesn't give me time to think about my next jump, you know? Like, I don't start from zero. I start from wherever I'm jumping and I'm constantly sinking in sand, which is why I suck at sand. I like jumps that give me more time to think about it, you know? It's just too much. I'm, I'm not smart. I really need the time to think about each jump. And the sand just gives it like a time factor. Like you have to do the jump in this amount of time or else you're going to fall through. And that's no fun. For me. It's just stressful. So a 1.5? I guess a 1.5. Okay, okay. Okay, good. Full jump here, full jump here. Sand was just random for me. I didn't figure out before I beat uh, the map. I never felt my setup were quite consistent enough. Yeah, I feel like for me... Wait, have you beat this map, Beetle, yet? I feel like for me... I don't know. Sand just met Ghost. Oh, Ghost. I see, I see, I see. I have sudden need to play another jump game. <laughs> Why not, Czar? You should. Play... Oh, fuck! That's oh, fine. Play the Jump King map. That wasn't enough power. I needed more power there. Oh no! Sorry, I needed a cough. Um... I don't think I've struggled that much with the sand. I've used sand a lot and it still feels a little random. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't like, again, a, a timed mechanic. It just, it's not natural for me, you know? It feels like I'm being rushed to make a jump and I don't appreciate that. Like, when it's sand like this, where there's a platform underneath, I'm okay with that. Because I can actually, you know, like, plan out and figure out the timing. But when I'm gonna sink and fall through, like, that's when I'm not okay with it. And it makes me scared. It's just too much. I feel like double jump with it and sometimes it's just extra frustrating. Oh yeah, if you do an accidental sand boost, you can get more height than you mean to in the sand. Um, that does happen because sand boosting is a weird mechanic um, that some people actually use to complete Jump King maps, you know? Um, and in that way, it feels also extra random for me. Because <laughs> I don't know if I've accidentally and boosted or not, you know? Three, one, two. Ayo, hey, 100k, let's go. Dang, another 100k show? What is the next game redeem for show? A oh, fuck! It's fine. Wow, I missed the platform. That's fine. That is a okay. Okay, that's fine. Get back into the tower. Do some more frogging through these tiny jumps. We're just making sure that we 
know exactly how to do all these tiny annoying jumps so that we can make it back to the area that we were making progress on before. I know inflation is coming, but I gotta steal a little and decide if I want Game Redeem or Goodreads. Oh, fuck! Uh, I see. Uh, you jump scared me. I see, show. I see. I am, um, I will wait uh, and see what you have in store for me, I guess. <laughs> I know I feel I wasted more time on the last part below the cat castle for some reason. Um, which one was that one? The bug? Um, the one with the fly? I forgot what that's called. If I do game redeem, it'll probably be Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. What an interesting name for a game. Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. What kind of game is that? Oh, fuck. Two. No! Fuck. Bugstock. Ah, Bugstock. I see, I see. Turnip Boy is cute. It doesn't- it sounds like a very, like, aggro game. Like, Turnip Boy commits tax evasion, you know? Like... I don't want to commit tax evasion. That would get me in jail by the IRS. You don't want the IRS to be mad at you. They're actually very scary. The IRS and, like, the Postmaster General investigating you? Now that's some scary business right there. Oh, no! Oh, that's, that's a weird fall. I've never fallen like that before. Fuck. Um, it's the silliest little game. It's so funny. Uh, I see. Well, if you do redeem it, I can't wait to play it at the end of 2024. <laughs> At this rate, it'll be at the end of 2024. Put your- put your games in, you know? I did a battle in Sea of Thieves and their boat was called the IRS. I was like, I paid my taxes, don't come at me! That's so funny. <laughs> is like, um, in Sea of Thieves, is that like an MMO game where you fight other players? Uh, it's- that's- that would be funny if someone named their boat the IRS and you had to fight with them. Aren't you planning to make Game Redeem 200,000? Yes, I am planning to make Game Redeem 200,000. I will make sure to announce the date that that's happening so you guys all know um, when that change will take effect so it doesn't come by surprise, right? Like, so you guys can use your points before then if you choose to. Um, I want to make sure no one is caught by surprise by the new change. What is going on? Okay, hold on. Ah! Fuck. Uh, I hated Bugstock. Even at the end, I hated it. The end of Bugstock, I would say, is the hardest because of all the tiny ledges there. Um, it was really hard to understand how to jump. And the ice at the end, too, um, is really frustrating. Specifically the screen before the last screen when reaching the cat castle. Oh, yeah with the tiny ledge. Absolutely not Absolutely not There are six ships to a server unless you play on sea for seas, but there is a dive mode to battle on demand interesting Why does the screen sometimes phase to a different background when you jump up? Oh, okay so this is a little mechanic floppy where um these areas that I'm jumping here are in Abaddon's previous map and all these kind of sparkly areas are some of the hardest jumps from the previous map and Abaddon is giving us his like best hits right like from the previous map and you're you have to perform them kind of like all in succession is um is what this area is which I mean it's frightening it scares me it's it's very difficult oh my god I almost oh god damn it Fuck. It's fine. It's fine. What time is it? Oh, it's almost nine. I actually do need to call my friend Dana to see... 
fuck. Um, let's at least, let's get back to ice first. Um, but I need to call her to see how dinner with, um, with her person went. It's like Rhythm Heaven Remix, I guess, but like way harder, I guess. <laughs> Abaddon just decided to make like the hardest map of all time. And um, then when he made a new map, he was like, you know what? I don't think my map was hard enough. Let me just do, you know, the best of, and then also incorporate it in my really hard map. And then he made another hard map i still like to this day when i think back on it i'm like how did i ever beat immortal babe because it was such a crazy like win for me fuck um beating immortal babe you know like it took me so long and it, not as long as this i think immortal babe took me like 80 hours but still it took me so long and it was such a journey. Um, I was like a husk, a shell of myself after I beat that map. <laughs> it's what the people wanted. Is it what the people wanted? Did Abaddon like put it to a vote? Like, do you want the best hits of my older map in this newer map? Fuck this, I hate that jump so much. Stupid ledge jump. Fuck. Alright. Doing this all over again. It's fine. Just be patient. And don't rush. Don't rush. You can do this just focus on each jump give each jump importance you can do this okay perfect perfect okay awesome do a little bit more okay 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 don't lose oh, fuck, come on. Don't lose your concentration. You're almost back to the ice. Okay. One, two. Oh no, fuck. I'm gonna save up and redeem Babe of Dimension Plus. I believe there, is there a Babe of Dimension Plus? I think there might be. A lot of people are doing like plus versions. Oh, oh fuck, of their map. I just walked right off. Grading will be easy if you give everyone full marks. I'm tabbed out because still grading, but the princess voice changes. Keep bringing me back. Sorry, Beetle Ian. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hope you're able to focus on grading those papers. <laughs> I cracked open my old Back to the Babe file. Oh, you got this. Back to the Babe is a great map. It's like very nicely scaled between Ghost of the Babe and Babe of Ascension, I think. Only like five or six speedruns completed on this website. Ah, I see. It is a difficult map to speedrun. To be fair, I don't think a lot of people speedrun the custom maps, so that might just be because, you know, not a lot of people play custom maps or even, furthermore, go on to speedrun the custom map. I've been grading a week. I need the occasional break! <laughs> full marks, full marks! Floppy is advocating for Beetle Ian just giving in the Christmas cheer and giving everyone full marks for the rest of the year. <gasps> I'm a poet and I didn't even know it, you guys. I should write poetry. <laughs> okay. 
very carefully. Give each jump the weight that it deserves. L watch your feet. Don't lose. Oh, fuck! Lose concentration. Focus up. No, these kids that turned in all of the work at the end deserve what they actually deserve. <laughs> so, Babe of Inferno. That also is, from what I've heard, that also is a very scary map. Um, one of the harder maps uh, in the custom map community, I think. Um, I know when it came out, everyone was like, wow, it's like on par with Immortal Babe, perhaps? Uh, which, that scares me. You know, not a lot of things. I mean, actually, that's, that's false. A lot of things scare me. But that specifically scares me. Okay, I feel like I'm just going to be jumping back and forth now, so... We gotta give my fingies a break. Um, I definitely tried my best, but, uh, you know. Uh, Babe of Inferno has one of my favorite named areas. Uh, John says I'm really tempted to pop my little blister that I got when I burned doing a creme brulee at my job. Don't do it, John. Don't do it. Cover it up. Cover it up. Put some ointment on it if you need to, but don't do it. Um, I'm just trying to be a bully. It's okay, Martine. I understand. I I take the bully here and I just take it in stride. <laughs> Another option. Um, you should write a holiday poem for us next year. We sh You know what? Next year we'll do a live uh, poetry, uh, live poetry writing session. <laughs> Half marks. Everyone either deserves 100% or 0%. 0%. Make it easy for yourself. 0%. zero percent all right you guys i think that's gonna be it for today um oh i have my re-upload for my asmr channel coming up tomorrow at 2 p.m pacific time if you guys want to listen to it it is an old uh audio but it is the one that got like the most views on my older channel i don't know if that matters to you guys <laughs> But um, if you guys do listen to my ASMR audios, I hope you enjoy it. I did remix the um, audio. Like, I changed some equalization on it. I also did some, like, noise cleanup. And I changed some of the timings and such. So, hopefully it sounds better to you guys this time around. Um, if not slightly different. I don't know. It is slightly different from the older audio um but yeah and then i'm gonna work on recording the newer audio for monday uh that will be um a christmas themed one um it's not a nice christmas themed one it's gonna be quite scary <laughs> but i hope if you guys are like yandere uh audios that uh you enjoy the monday one are you a doctor that's cool um who john John, I believe, works in the restaurant business. Option for blisters. Insert a syringe and needle into healthy tissue. Oh, you mean Martine. Near the blister and insert it under the blister. Why? Why? And drain it that way. Why? That sounds so scary. I was just a rambunctious kid. Oh, I see. <laughs> All right, you guys. Ugh. Oh, I look like I'm wearing a little Santa hat. <laughs> all right you guys i hope you <laughs> i'm a doctor but only for physics you have your doctorate your phd man what's it like to get a phd i feel like you have to be really smart because you have to write a thesis um on on stuff um it's agony looking forward to yandere asmr 
Well, that'll be on Monday at 2 p.m., so I hope you enjoy. Um, because it drains the fluid without disturbing the bubble. Oh, interesting. Okay, I see, I see. Dang, okay. We broke physics and need Beetle Ian to fix it. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys, for sticking around. Who can we raid into? Let's see. Who's doing stuff today? Let's take a look. We have a lot of friends streaming tonight. Let's see. We have... Uh, Leia playing League of Legends. I haven't seen Leia in a while. Leia was streaming since earlier, and I think she was doing, like, um, art... She's playing League of Legends now. Cozy with Joy is playing Persona 5. Civil is still playing Pokemon. She's been playing Pokemon all day. Um, Atra has been playing Stray. Um, oh, I haven't raided Atra in a while, and he was in my top five. Uh, I'm not raiding KP because she's playing Mortuary Assistant, so absolutely not. Um, you guys can check her out if you would like, though. Um, but let's say hi to Atra, because Atra is my comfy, cozy streamer, and I love 2022 Game of the Year. Was it really? Dang. Come on, Princess Mortuary Assistant. Absolutely not. Um, okay, so we're going to this channel. It's pinned at the top. Um, you guys know the real the drill. Oh, excuse me. Stick around for the raid. You will get extra channel points. Um, if you have a subscription, you can copy the first message, um, there. You mean 2023? No. I don't know. Stray wasn't actually, but it was a contender for me. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, if you have a subscription, copy the one with Evermarch. If you don't have a subscription, you're welcome to copy the one with the uh, doggo heads. Uh, but we're gonna go watch my friend Atramentum play Stray. Um, by the way, if you guys don't know, he was also nominated for the Friendo Endo Year Awards as a podcast. Um, he does like a sex and VTubing podcast and it's very informative. Um, I really enjoy watching it because I get to hear like different perspectives and. It you know, it's cool. Um, and it's VTubing adjacent, so. Evermarch was my most used emote this year. I love that, Beetle. I love that everyone loves. Next year, I gotta make, uh, I gotta commission some emotes, I think. Um, I really wanna do some Ever emotes, and like Floppy said, I probably need some kind of cheering or clapping emote, um, but on the horizon, you guys, I'm just saving up money so that I can, um, Put it back into you know this community um can we also have a heart emote oh yeah the heart emote might be good as well yeah good ideas i am definitely writing it down okay we're gonna go hang out uh and say hello to atra okay It's Atramentum underscore X. Uh-oh, wait, 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 wait. Atra stream just went down. Why? I swear to God, I have the worst luck. His power just went out and he his stream is down. Um, I don't know if we can raid him. No, it's not Mortuary Assistant time. I don't know if we can raid Atra. Um, you know what? <laughs> Let's raid Civil, because we gave Civil a shout out and... Is she still streaming? Oh yeah, she is, okay. No, we're gonna meet a new friend who is also part of the uh vtuber orchestra uh she's one of the performers okay so we're gonna raid civil let's all say hello to civil for tissimo for tissimo as always you guys please be happy please be healthy but most of all please be kind be kind to others because you never know what a smile hug or hello can do for someone who's having a bad day 
And be kind to yourself. Stay hydrated. Get up and stretch your legs every once in a while. Go touch some grass. Maybe touch some snow. Smell some roses directly from the rose bush. Because if you don't, you might get an embolism. And getting an embolism right before the holidays is really sad. And then I'd cry. Okay, you guys. So I will see you all on Saturday because I do have a stream Saturday. No streams tomorrow. I might stream because I think D&D got canceled, but we shall see. I'm not 100% sure. All right, my puppies. I love you. Let's all go say hi to Civil. She is really cool. I can't wait for you to meet her. Bye. Good night.